give that Albany team a lot of credit. They were gritty. They ran their offense in the second half to perfection. Give them a lot of credit. They stuck with it on the road. Uh, they did a very good job. Aside from that, I, I take full responsibility for what, what just happened. That's on me. We can't place the blame anywhere else. We, we should have been, done a better job of defending them, especially down the stretch, and we didn't. And uh, that's my responsibility to have us better prepared to play against the offense than they were. So that was it, that weave kind of offense at the end that they were last four or five minutes that they were? That it's you were a roll and play screen, screening type of situation that uh, that they run. We knew they that's what they ran. We just, uh, like I said, didn't prepare our guys enough for us to be able to defend that. What, what the should have been? Year, you've been good at setting the tempo by playing defense. If a team's walking it up, you force the defense, force turnovers to get them to play faster. Were you trying to do that tonight? It just wasn't there. You know, I thought because of the, you know, we jumped their ball screens early and that presented some problems, but if you do that the entire game, and what you're talking about is what we did at the outset. We didn't pick them up full court, but we, we double teamed the ball screen. And, uh, they scored a couple times, but they also turned it over. You do that the entire game, they begin to find holes and then breakdowns in it. Uh, we defended the other night, I thought, really well, but the amount of ball screens that they set kind of backs your pressure off a little bit because of that. And uh, we didn't finish the play. I, it, I'll look at the film. I would imagine they probably scored 14 points at the end of the shot clock when we had to defend. We had defended them the entire shot clock, and then there was a breakdown at the end when they would score a bucket. And uh, that probably was the difference in the ball game. What was happening on their dive? Should have been, was it poor rotation by you guys? Or we, just were, we were showing too long. We were staying too long with the ball when uh, they weren't. We, we didn't need to do that. And uh, something you know we talked about, but uh, obviously I didn't emphasize it enough that we couldn't stay with that ball screen that long because they were looking to do something else with it. What happened on their last bucket? On the uh, on defense. On the drive. Yeah. Uh, we didn't get in front of. Them. I think it's pretty much that simple. We should have had some great Einstein answer. We didn't stop the ball. They set ball screen, we were switching. And when we went out, we just didn't keep them in front of us. Oh, we Scott? Uh, Scott, we hope will be okay. He's he he pretty good, he was unconscious. So he doesn't have a major headache or anything like that. So we don't know if he has a concussion or not. Is he he was unconscious, you think? He was woozy. Yeah, I mean, when you saw what I saw, yeah. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say he was unconscious, but one thing, he remembered what happened. A lot of times in those cases, guys don't even remember what happened. He remembers what happens. Was he taken to the hospital or anything? Or was no. he always in the building? No, he was here the entire time, training. You've been telling this team, of course, since the first meeting, the first day about defense. Is this, in a way, a good lesson to learn this early to this is how you learn? Well, again, I think our guys were trying. I, I, that's why I say you place the blame on me. I think our guys were trying uh, to do what we asked them to do. You know, the one thing we did ask them to do is not stay with the ball screen so long. We talked about that, but you know, you haven't taught until they've learned, and we didn't learn it. So it goes back to the teacher, which is me. Lawrence, are you worried this is going to be a game that haunts you guys all year, kind of? when you get so close to the tournament and then everybody we, points back to something like this. If we let like this, this turn into two and three, yes, it will. If we can go on from here and not stub our toe like this again, then lesson learned early in the year. But uh, if this is a reoccurring theme, it's, it's a, it'll be very, very, be a big blow to us down the road. Lorenzo, losing Suggs that early, what, Scott, what, what does he bring on, on both? Ends of the floor for Experience, you. defense, uh, make shots. You know, but but again, Scott not playing, like we can't. If you just asked me that question just as a general question, what does he bring? I can answer that. But as it relates to the game tonight, we still should have been in better shape than we were 
and what the final score says. Did, 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 did the, you feel that the team sort of went into like a little low after that and it took up like until the second half until they sort of shook out of that? Perhaps. I think, you know, our guys saw him dazed out there and, you know, that's their guy, that's their teammate, perhaps. But uh, from the outset, I think we turned the ball over five times in the first five minutes before he got hit. We, uh, for whatever reason, simple, mundane things that we practiced over and over that we did in the last game. We weren't mentally doing them early. So, you know, there was, there was something to it there. I, we weren't ourselves for whatever reason before Scott got hurt. You know, the whole game sort of felt flat. You know, there wasn't much of a crowd. And that, obviously, you have to create some of that energy on the floor. But did you sense that, that the team was flat, that there was not the usual energy? We were definitely flat, there's no doubt. In the second half, we came out with energy. I mean, where we went up eight, you know, so did that, then we would we would play good defense defense till the end of the shot clock and someone would get away from us or we didn't guard the ball screen properly and there was a there we go, a bucket here, bucket there, next thing you know it's a three point game and a tie game. On a, on a, the last play for Albany, who were the five that you had out there and and the reason why you switched Andrew and uh, Wilcox for Andrews was what? For Hakeem for Aziz? Yes. Yeah. Because we were switching everything. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want Aziz to get caught way out there with a little guard. And, and they weren't going inside. It was going to be one of those guards that, sure enough, that's what it was. And then it was uh, Andrews earlier that was on black, but on that last play, it was Wilcox. Yes. Because you just felt he was kind of quicker, better for that position. one of our two best defenders. Lawrence, what said it, at halftime, uh, CJ said it was energy. That was kind of the message. Was there anything else that you, that you wanted to impart to the team when they came out? We talked to our team at halftime about, yeah, the energy, but offensively, we were so impatient. Uh, mentally, we weren't there. We weren't in the proper spots. We weren't passing the ball to the right person. We weren't reading the defense like we've been doing all fall and in, in the other night, second half. I mean, things that we've been doing just been second nature. All of a sudden, for some reason, it just wasn't there. So at halftime, I said, I'm not really upset. I'm frustrated that we're not doing what we've been doing in our sleep. The things we were just doing in our sleep from the outset, we weren't doing for whatever reason. And it was, it was hard to explain why we were like that at that point. Would you have, in hindsight, would you have to have had as he's out there considering the way they finished with the drive and stuff? No, no, you know, five, again, we were switching. You know, in reference to the question about was CJ on him, no one was on anyone. It was, if there was a screen involved, if there was a switch, we were, you know, 7.6 seconds to go, I think. You, know, you gotta figure they're going to the basket. That's why we didn't want them to get in a situation where someone was wide open. So we, we were gonna switch everything. It just so happens, the guy took the ball to the basket. Did you say you're disappointed, frustrated, angry? Very disappointed. Very disappointed. Thank Very you. Disappointed. I'll set up a media time for Thursday, guys. I'll let you all know. Okay. Thank you.